Glory be to God. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad. Lord, we we'll glorify you this morning as we worship before your presence. We we'll thank you for your word. We we'll thank you for your will. We we'll thank you for your purpose. Whenever God wants to move you forward, He gives you an encounter. And today, as we pray and prophesy, we want to see God's encounter. We want to encounter more of Him. You don't know all of God in one day, in one year, in ten years. We keep knowing Him. We keep knowing His ways, His word, His will. There is a progression when it comes to relationship with God. Our relationship with God ought not to be a, a dormant relationship. It has to be an effective relationship. A relationship that goes from one level to the other. And that relationship has a potential to transform any situation. And God wants us to experience more of Him in the midst of challenges, in the midst of trials of life. God wants you to experience more of Him. And we can only experience more of Him when we focus on doing His will. We can only experience more of God when we focus on doing His will. When we focus on His will, nothing can be impossible to us. And God encounter makes all the difference. You know, when Moses was with Jethro, and one of the days he came around, and he saw if a bush that was on fire, but the bush was not consumed. And that got his attention. And God said to him, where you are is a holy ground. Pull your shoes. Moses had an encounter with God in that, in that environment. And that positioned him to do what God was calling him to do. One encounter with God has a potential to reposition you. In Acts chapter 9, Saul had an encounter with God before he became Paul. He had an encounter with God. And that encounter he had with, with God changed him and he became a Paul who preached the gospel and changed the lives of millions of people. Paul has gone home to be with the Lord. We still preach most of the messages that Paul preached. His writings have become most of our messages today in the body of Christ. One encounter with God can move you to the next level. As we pray this morning, get ready for an encounter with God. Oh, let's begin to bless the name of the Lord. Lord, we glorify you this morning. Reclama son to lobo shaka talibra de secundo libra gada. Reclama zucanta lambra do seketo libra canta lababa. Reclama zacanta lambra do seketo libra cababa. Reclama zucanta lambra de seketo libra cababa. In the name of Jesus, Lord will pray for Kenneth. Li cambaraba sacababa. Will pray that your mother get the custody of his son. Li cama socoto libra cababa. Whatever that is holding that in bound will lose Kenneth. In the name of Jesus, we pray for supernatural deliverance for your son right now. Likama sokoto libra katala bra katala baba. Rikoma zante libro kunto libra gada. Rikama sakata libra katala baba. In the name of Jesus, we are praying for supernatural manifestation of divine encounter. 
We're going to pray that we we'll encounter God in a such a way that our faith will accelerate to another level. Let's begin to pray right now. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. We'll pray for the person having a new problem. We we'll pray right now that that new problem will be resolved supernaturally. Lord, will release your healing power upon the person who has the nail problem. We command the, heal, the healing to come right now. In the name of Jesus, We'll pray for those who have challenges in their liver to be healed by the power of God. We release the healing presence of God. We release the healing presence of God right now. I release the healing presence of God in your kidney right now. In the name of Jesus, I command your kidney to be healed. All those that are watching this broadcast that may have one kidney issue, be healed by the power of God. Rikama zanta la bra kanta la bra gada. Rikama sokunto libra kata baba. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Likam bra tumo shaka baba. Likama seketo limbra do seketo limbra kaba. Rikama sokunto libra kaba. In the name of Jesus. When we pray, things begins to happen. One of the ways we shift the atmosphere in our favor is when we pray. When we pray, things begin to move in a different dimension. There is power in prayer. And this morning we're going to pray that our passion for God's word will rise to another level. Your passion for the word of God. In Matthew chapter 5, verse 6, he said, Blessed are those that do test after righteousness, for they shall be filled. This morning, let's begin to pray that our passion for God's word will increase. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we decree and we declare this morning that our passion to read the word, our passion to flow in your word. Our passion for the word will rise to another level. In the name of Jesus, we decree and we declare this morning that we'll have a strong passion for the word, a strong passion for God's word, a strong passion for God's word, to study, to meditate, to sing the word, to spend quality time with God's word. In the name of Jesus, an encounter with God empowers you to take the lead. An encounter with God empowers you to take the lead. We, we can't truly take the lead except we have an encounter with God. The more we have an encounter with Him, our conviction for the things of the Spirit begins to rise. The more we have an encounter with God, our conviction for the things of the Spirit begins to rise. Our conviction for the things of the Spirit begins to rise. Begins to rise. The more we have an encounter with God, our conviction for the things of the Spirit begins to rise. And God is saying this morning, you, you're going to have an encounter today. A God encounter that will shift your thinking, that will change things around you, around you. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in His presence. There is fullness of joy. In God's presence, there is healing, there is deliverance, there is liberty. If you want to experience the power of God, you have to be conscious of His presence. His presence makes all the difference. It doesn't matter what the situation may be in the natural, it is subject to the presence of God. And God's presence comes with healing. God's presence comes with deliverance. 
God's presence comes with signs and wonders. And having His presence can change any situation. We are called to function in the revelation of His presence. We are called to function in the revelation of God's presence. And when you have the knowledge of His presence, nothing can be impossible to you. Miracles and healing takes place in His presence. In the presence of God, there is liberty. In the presence of God, there is healing. In God's presence, there is a miracle, signs, and wonder. And if we want to see the manifestation of the glory of His presence, we have to submit to His Word. When we submit to His Word, we we'll begin to see miracles, signs, and wonder. Because miracles, signs, and wonder happens when we trust the ability of God's Spirit. And you hear me right now, you can have a God encounter. You can encounter his presence, you can encounter his wisdom, you can encounter his power, you can encounter his unction. There is a release of the Spirit of God that takes place when we trust God. There is a release of manifestation of power. When we trust God, miracles take place, healing takes place. Those who trust him will run out of strength. Those who trust him will run out of energy. Those who trust God will never lose out in life because trusting God is the pathway to power. If you truly want to see the manifestation of the power of God, you got to trust God. You got to trust his word. You have to make his word a foundation for your action, the foundation for your thinking. When God's word becomes your foundation, nothing can be impossible to you. Having an encounter with God will reposition your way of thinking. Having an encounter with God will reposition your way of thinking. Every man in history who have changed history, who have impacted their world in the kingdom of God, we are people who had encounters with God. There are people who long to have visitation from heaven. There are people that long to have visitation with, from God. And one encounter with God can reposition your life. One encounter with God can move you to another dimension of operation in the things of the Spirit. An encounter with God. And let me say this to you this morning. It doesn't matter what the situation is. When you have an encounter, it will change your situation. In Acts chapter 2, in Acts chapter 2, I want to read this before we pray this morning. In Acts chapter 2, glory be to God, there is power in the presence of God. In Acts chapter 2, glory, 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 glory be to God. In Acts chapter 2, he said, And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all in one accord in one place. They responded to the instruction that Jesus gave to them to be in one accord in one place because one thing that attracts the presence of God is unity. Wherever God finds unity, he releases his presence. Wherever God finds unity, there will be a release of his presence. When there is a unity in a relationship, in a marriage, in a home, God releases great provision. He releases great power. Greater things begin to happen. This is why the enemy works at bringing strife. Satan will work hard to bring strife, to bring, conf uh, to, 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 to bring situations that are not consistent with God's word. Our God forgives sin. It doesn't matter what you have done. God will forgive you. If you confess your sin, Jesus forgives you immediately. Our God is a God of forgiveness. And if we're going to have God encounter, we have to rely on His grace. We have to rely on His grace. If you sinned, God wants to forgive you. If you're watching me right now, you sinned against God, God wants to show you mercy, God wants to forgive you, and He wants to heal you. He wants to heal you. He wants to restore you. He said if we can confess our sin, He's faithful and just to forgive. God, forgive those who confess their sins. It doesn't matter the sin you've committed. His mercy is waiting for you. And when he forgives you, he expects you to continue to walk in the consciousness of your righteousness. When he forgives you, he expects you to walk by faith. He expects you to believe that I have forgiven you and go ahead and live in the consciousness of your sonship as a believer in Christ Jesus. 
Hallelujah. In, uh, in Acts chapter 2, he said, And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all in one accord in one place. In one place. They were in one accord in one place. And this morning, we're going to pray. We're going to pray for the nations that there's going to be a manifestation of the move of God in the nations. Lord, we pray for nations. We pray for nations right now that your will be done in the nations of the earth. We'll pray for nations that your will be done in the nations uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. We'll pray. In the mighty name of Jesus, we'll pray that nations will begin to walk in the consciousness of your word. Uh, presidents of nations, commissioners and nations, senators. Uh, Lord, we'll pray this morning for nations uh, that they will come to the knowledge of the will of God. All the nations that have forgotten God will pray for them this morning that they will come. Leaders who have forgotten God will pray they will come in the light of your word, in the light of your will. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. We'll pray for nations in the name of Jesus. We're going to pray right now for open doors in, for open doors in your business. Whatever you're believing God for this morning, let's pray for open doors that you will have preferential treatment for in the name of Jesus according to your word in Revelation 3 verse 8. He said, He said before us an open door, and no man can shut it. In the name of Jesus, I decree an open door. We decree an open door this morning. Open door to do what you have called us to do. Preferential treatment. We decree open doors. We decree open doors. We decree open doors. Decree open doors. In the ministry, in the vision, in the calling my son to lobo santa la baba baba Recoma Santa Baba, Recoma Santa Baba 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 Baba, Recobande de Baba Santa Baba, Recoma Santa Baba Baba. In the name of Jesus, Hallelujah. The psalmist said in Psalm twenty-three, "The Lord is my shepherd; I shall not want." That simply means God is going to make a provision available for you this morning. There's going to be a provision for you today. So the Lord is my shepherd; I shall not want. This man. Called the psalmist, the David, had an encounter with God. And he knew that God can provide for his need. God can take care of his emotion. God can take care of his destiny. He said, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Let's begin to pray this morning that our provision will exceed our expectation. Today we are receiving provisions that will exceed our expectation. In the name of Jesus, we'll receive supernatural provision that will exceed every expectation. Likama Santa Baba. Provision for our vision, provision for our assignment, provision for our calling. Rikama suntolo brodo santa la baba. Rikam brado santa le bragada. Rikama suntolo baba. Provision for our mission, provision for our calling, provision for the dreams you have entrusted to our care. Lambo santa la baba. de sakaba. Provision for the assignment. Rikama suntolo baba. Rikama santa la bragada. In the the name of Jesus, provision, provision for every vision, provision for every assignment, provision for every dreams in your heart. There are things you've been believing God for, for five years, for three years, for two years. Provision is coming your way. Supernatural provision. Is coming to you. I prophesy this morning to you that new opportunities will locate you in this season. New opportunities will locate you in this season. In the name of Jesus, new opportunities will locate you in this season. New opportunities will locate you in this season. In the name of Jesus. New opportunities. Yes. New opportunities. You're going to do what you couldn't do before. There are people watching me this morning. The grace to accomplish the extraordinary 
is coming upon you this morning. The grace to accomplish the extraordinary is coming on you this morning. The grace to, to do the extraordinary. What they said you couldn't do, receive the grace to do it. What they say you couldn't have, receive the grace to have it. What they say you could, dreams they said you couldn't fulfill, receive the grace to fulfill it. Where they say you couldn't go, receive the favor to go there. What they say you couldn't have, receive the grace to have it. I prophesy to you that you break new grounds in the name of Jesus. I prophesy to you that every dream that you have ever trusted God for, receive divine connection for the execution of that vision. Receive divine connection for the execution of that vision. Ricoma Santa Lababa, Ricama Santa Labrato Sekebaba, Ricoma Santa Labra Cababa, Ritumbo Shakata Lababa, in the name of Jesus, with the critics morning that your heavens over you is open. Open heaven for your vision. Open heaven. No more dry season. No more struggle. No more dry season, no more struggle. I decree open heaven in the name of Jesus. Open heaven for your assignment. Yes, the power of God is coming upon someone watching me right now. You're encountering God. Open heaven. Let there be a flood of blessings. Flood of blessings. Flood of blessings coming your way in this season. Flood of blessing. Recapra to seke to libra kababa. Recama so to libra to seke to libaba. Recoma sa catalabra de seke baba. Le kama santa la baba baba. Recoma sa catalibro to seke baba. Ricoma Santa Labrado Sekababa, Likema Sutton Tolobo Santa Baba, Rico Tolobo Santa Lababa, Ricoma Santa Lablacaba, Flood of Blessing, Flood of Blessing, Likama Santa Lababa, Flood of Blessing, Flood is coming like a flood to you, Flood of Blessing, while you're praising God for this, another one just happened, while you're praising God for what He has done. More as the happening flood of blessing, blessings without limits, blessings without limit. I prophesy it on you, blessings without limit. Likama sun toli baba ba, likambra to seke toli bra kaba rikama sun tala baba ba. In the name of Jesus, we're gonna pray this morning for divine intervention concerning any situation that is before you. Let's pray for divine intervention concerning any situation that is before you. Rikama Sun Tolababa will pray for divine intervention concerning any situation that is before your people this morning. In the name of Jesus, Rikama Second Tolibra Kababa will pray for divine intervention. We pray for divine intervention in the name of Jesus. We pray for divine intervention concerning every bill, concerning every Every legal matter concerning every job situation, relationship situation, we pray for divine intervention. We release miracle of supernatural intervention. Recumbra to Santa Libra. Thank you, Father, for divine intervention. Thank you, Jesus, for divine intervention. We pray for divine intervention to break free, to, to break out from every limitation, from every stronghold, from every wickedness going on. Divine intervention in the name of Jesus. Amen. This is our prayer time. We're praying this morning and we're praying for divine intervention concerning the things we're trusting God for, the things we're believing God for, 
divine intervention. You know, the, you know, Esther, when she had the situation, she had a divine intervention. When there was a competition in that palace, Esther had divine intervention. And divine intervention created a platform for supernatural favor. Divine intervention creates the platform for supernatural favor. Divine intervention. The flood was coming in the days of Noah. God gave a word to Noah. He said, build the ark. That was a divine intervention. Abraham was battling with the barrenness of his wife. They had a show of barrenness. And God showed up. There was a divine intervention. And Sarah conceived Isaac. In Genesis 26, there was, there was a famine in the land. And God intervened in the life of the man called Isaac. That was a divine intervention. No matter the situation before you, Receive divine intervention. We pray for supernatural intervention. Divine assistance. Divine assistance. In the name of Jesus. Divine assistance. Divine assistance. Divine assistance. Divine intervention. In the name of Jesus. Divine intervention. Something amazing is taking place this morning. There is someone, God is intervening on your behalf. Divine assistance. You're going to experience divine assistance. Suddenly, what you thought was not possible, is going to be possible. What you thought was not going to happen is going to happen. Divine assistance. For in the name of Jesus, we pray. Concerning this situation, concerning this matter. Divine assistance in the name of Jesus. Help from above. Someone is getting a help from above today. You're, you're coming back with a testimony as you go to your place of work. You're, you're coming back with a testimony of God's goodness, of God's favor. Something amazing is coming your way today. And it's, it's going to be beautiful because I saw the Lord opening doors for people. I saw the Lord opening doors for his people. And you, 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 you amaze yourself today. You know, you're, you're going to amaze yourself. The, the doors will open in a such a way that in the natural, you may be asking yourself a question. How did this happen? How did this happen? And what, what we're praying this morning, that everything you have believed God for will come to pass. Everything you have believed God for will come to pass. For in the name of Jesus, would we'll decree this morning, everything your people have believed you for, would we'll see manifestation in the name of Jesus. Everything your people have believed you for, it will come to pass. In the name of Jesus, it will come to pass. Every expectation, every intention, every vision entrusted will come to pass in the name of Jesus. I prophesy this morning that your heart desire will come to pass. What you're believing the Lord for, there will be a quick manifestation in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. I prophesy to you today that you will meet with new opportunities. You'll be connecting with the right people. Every expectation will be a reality. This is the day the Lord has made. Opportunities beyond your imagination. Help us are coming your way. Strength for your dream. Receive focus to fulfill your destiny. Receive inspiration to pursue your dream. Receive the bold next to see results. Receive wisdom to make decisions. 
receive understanding to interpret situations. In the name of Jesus, I speak peace over you. I speak peace over your home, over your finances. I command the money to come. I command the resources to come. In the name of Jesus, I command it to come your way. Finances are coming your way. In the name of Jesus, I command resources to come your way. Resources to carry out what God has instructed you to do. Resources to carry out every vision that God called you to carry out. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lamb of God. I pray for everyone watching that the power of God will, will rest upon you this morning. The power of God will rest upon you to do things that with your natural ability you couldn't have been able to accomplish. Receive the power. 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 To fulfill your destiny. To succeed. To break forth. To break loose. Receive. Greater things are happening. Greater things are happening. The things you thought couldn't happen this year. Is going to happen this year. The things you thought. How long is going to take. God is giving you a miracle. In the name of Jesus. Receive the grace to finish well. In Jesus' name. Amen. Glory be to God. This is pray and prophesy to your day. We come in the morning and that is the first thing we do. We pray and we prophesy to our day. And uh, we want to appreciate everyone who uh, have been watching this broadcast. And you will never remain the same. God has a great plan for you. A great plan for your destiny a great plan for your life and you're gonna have a great life you know when Jesus come into your life that is the beginning of greater things when Jesus comes into your life the greatest decision you ever make is the decision to know Jesus is the decision to receive him as your Lord and Savior is the decision to know Jesus. The decision to know Jesus is the greatest decision you will ever make with your life. And if you're watching this broadcast right now and you're not yet born again, you've not yet known Jesus, I want to lead you in this simple confection and you can pray it with me. I want you to say this after me, Lord Jesus, I receive you as my Lord and Savior, I confess with my mouth, I believe in my heart that God have raised Jesus from the dead. Thank you, Father, for saving me. Amen. If you have prayed that prayer, you are just a born-again Christian. You can look for a Bible-believing church in your city where they teach God's word and get connected. Hallelujah. Blessing to you. Okay. We encourage people to always subscribe to our YouTube channel as they'll be able to have this timeless teaching of God's word that comes forth every day, reaching people all over the world. It will be a joy to see you subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's Fitman Teaching on YouTube. When you subscribe to that channel, you will listen to more than 190 videos and more because more is coming every day, new videos. So stay connected to us. And also we encourage you to partner with us. Partnership goes a, a long way. Okay, you're watching me from Kansas City. Thank you. You're welcome. Partnership goes a long way. To help us to be able to reach more and more people. So you can be my partner today. Two things a partner do for me. My partners pray for me. And they support financially as the Lord provides for them. They support the ministry. And you can do that through PayPal. It's faithmanteaching at gmail.com You can do it through PayPal. Faithmanteaching at gmail.com 
and you can also do MoneyGram if you want to. Or if you want to do a bank transfer, you can hook up with us with me on Facebook. My Facebook address is Faithman Obweda on Facebook. Faithman Obweda on Facebook. And uh, when you hook up with us on Facebook, uh, we can talk with you, we can cancel you, we can bring ministry to you. Our joy is to inspire, to develop, and to bring positive inspirations your way that will help you fulfill your destiny. Thank you for watching this broadcast. We'll be right back to continue more teaching. Stay connected and remember there is greatness in you.